Hey everyone, and welcome to the start of a new series of videos where I talk about some trivia on the Japanese culture or language and some nuances that were lost in the translation from the Japanese audio to the English subtitles of an anime. In this case, for an anime of the winter season 2023, Oni-chan wa Oshimai, episode 1. Let's start with the Japanese title of the show, Oni-chan wa Oshimai that contains a pun that was surely intended by the author. Shimai can mean two things. It can be the end or termination of something, usually seen as Oshimai, like in this case. But alone, it can also mean sisters. So the title could be interpreted as Big Brother is done for, or Big Brother is a sisters. The anime also have an abbreviation, Onimai, taking the first two and last mola of the full title. This is only speculation from my part, and might be just a coincidence, but it could be viewed as Onimai, Demon, Oni, and Dance. The title of this episode was Mahiro to Ikenai Karada, and translated into Mahiro's Confusing New Body. The Ikenai Karada part could be interpreted in a lot of different ways, I can't possibly know the real intention of the author, but here are some possible interpretations. A body that doesn't work. A body that is in a bad shape. The wrong body. A hopeless body. Or a body that can come orgasm. Now let's look at the names of the characters. Since Japanese names can often hold some meaning behind them, especially with fictional characters that were created with a specific personality or goal in mind. With disclaimer, kanji can have multiple meanings, and names are not necessarily meaningful. Oyama, the family name of the two main characters, is written with itoguchi, red end, that can symbolize the beginning or first step of something, and yama, mountain. This could link to Mahiro starting a new journey on the mountain of a girl's life. And we have Mihali, the name of the little sister, which is also the word for guard or lookout, Mihali. Something that can often be localized in a translation between languages or expressions. They are almost always closely linked to the culture around it, making it very difficult to translate directly without adapting it with another expression with a similar meaning in the other language. The expression used when Mihari is talking about Mahiro being addicted to those gross video games was Zanmai, and this is a term that originates from the Buddhist religion. It comes from a transliteration of Samadhi, a state of intense concentration achieved through meditation when you enter a state of mind where you don't get disturbed by anything around you. Another one was toward the end of this first episode, as two step forward, one step back, when Mahiro doesn't want to go out of the bed. Mihali says in Japanese, Ishin Ittai. This is a type of Japanese expression called Yojijukugo, or character compound. And this one is basically one advanced progress, one retreat. Another thing that is often lost in the translation and hard to correctly translate in something current in English are jokes, especially when it's involving play on words or specifically with Japanese, jokes that use the really complex and rich written system. In this episode, there was a play on word in the scene where Mihali talks about enjoying life as a girl, then Mahiro taking it as to enjoy myself, girl edition, the Japanese pun was from the word seikatsu, that usually means living in the daily sense, written as life and activity, but Maero changes it to seikatsu with sex and activity, both being read the same way, but with a twist on it. This part is to explain some terminology of the Japanese culture that was used and that you might not have known. Eloge, it's an abbreviation from erotic game, erotic game, home security officer, 
detect KB in. He's a slang to talk about someone who is a shot in. BL is an abbreviation from Boy's Love. And the original names of the characters in the game that were translated into Toppington and Bottomsley were directly Seme and Uke. Those are common terms used in BL stories to represent a character that is the dominant one or top, Seme, and the one being on the receiving end or bottom, Uke. That's all for this episode, and you know what to do. Like this video to let me in YouTube know if you want more of those type of videos. Comment about the things that you found the most interesting or surprising, and also on what other series you would like me to cover. And of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff. Anyway, it's the end of this video, and I'll see you next week.